And so the Moscow Human Rights Commission uh, unanimously uh, and very strongly supports the change of Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day. And as part of what we were doing, we realized that the city does not recognize Columbus Day as an official holiday, even though the state and federal government does, you know, with days off and closures. And so what we wanted was the name change in Moscow not affecting the uh, operations of the city. So it's the, more the symbol of the name change than the actual making it a city <coughs> holiday in that sense because we already don't have that city holiday. And so just a few words on that, on support. Uh, first of all, the symbol of Columbus Day. Uh, it is a symbol uh, to a lot of people, especially Native American groups in the United States, uh, of genocide, slavery, conquest, and all of these things that go along with it. And so it's a continuous yearly symbol of everything that was experienced. And so we argue that it should be changed, the symbol should be changed, not to erase the past, but to recognize that the indigenous people of the United States, and Native Americans, uh, were the first human inhabitants to this region. Uh, Moscow is on uh, Native American land. It was built on that, the, the Palouse. And so that we honor the Native Americans and their ancestors and recognize that what happened and while we cannot change the past, we can make people aware of that past, uh, 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 make it evident of it and try to move forward beyond that uh, past by recognizing uh, Indigenous Peoples Day. Uh, another part of this is also that Columbus himself uh, should not be on a holiday and I totally support changing the state and federal uh, holiday on that. That's a bit beyond my scope, but I would be love to help somebody work on that uh, because Columbus himself uh, was a mass murderer, a slaver, uh, abused and tortured people. He uh, sold children as young as 10 years old into sexual slavery on a regular basis, was removed from his office, put on trial, and found guilty of atrocities. Uh, at the last minute, he was pardoned by the king of Spain and saved life in prison or execution um, on that. And so I don't think we should have a holiday in any way, shape, or form uh, honoring someone of that nature, let alone the symbolic uh, issue of the genocide, the conquest, and everything else that goes with it. And I think it is important to honor on uh, the Native Americans and the first inhabitants of this area uh, by recognizing Indigenous Peoples Day. A lot of other cities and locations have already done this uh, for their uh, cities. Some actually made it a full holiday and a day off. Others did not. It just depended on what the cities already have. The University of Idaho has already done this. And we would be the first city in Idaho to make this change, even though uh, Boise State University and the University of Idaho has already made it as universities, and so they do not recognize Columbus Day. And so I just want to state that um, and stress that we make this change and that hopefully you will vote to make this change because it is the right thing to do. And so we believe strongly that it is. So thank you. Thank you, Ken. <laughs> You're, you're, ra you're raising your hand. Come on up here and, and tell us who you are, sir, your address, and we'll give you a couple of minutes to speak. Thank you. Uh, my name is Caleb Bauma. I live at 463 Boyd Avenue in Moscow, Idaho. Um, and I just have a couple of minutes of comments here. Uh, I grew up here. I've been here since fifth grade. I now raise my kids here. And my great-grandmother was half Cherokee. Um, so I, I can sympathize with that side, but that being said, this um, proposal is concerning to me in that uh, it, it's proposed as a way to celebrate such diversity with a holiday, which is inclusive rather than divisive. When this re resolution would inherently force the majority of residents to choose uh, between commemorating how they personally got here and remembering those who were here first. There are 365 days in the year, and it is something far from inclusive to try to replace, insofar as it would replace, Columbus Day, regardless of whether there is some disagreement over it. If I were eating at a large table with several people and many open chairs, and it would 
it would hardly be inclusive of me to remove one of those three people from their seat so that I could put someone who thought, so whom I thought more worthy of in their chair. Inclusion means inviting someone to pull up a chair, and if you happen to disagree, you dialogue about it. You don't replace. This will immediately divide people into camps simply by replacing a long-standing, one of the longest-standing, actually, um, commemorations from the slate. Whether you like it or not, most of us are where we are, in part because of Columbus, um, because he sailed the ocean blue. Commemorating a significant historical figure does not mean that you condone all their actions or their beliefs. We must not throw the baby out with the bathwater. Even with all of his life's flaws, Columbus impacted the world in a gigantic way, making, uh, marking the beginning of uh, written, recorded history of America uh, and the beginning of the exchange between European and American culture. Um, his discovery, I believe, is worth remembering simply because it is one of the most significant events in the recorded history of America. Renaming a long-standing holiday is a bad idea, I believe, in itself because it erases our history and the way that we're doing it here is not inclusive. Why not add a holiday near Columbus Day to acknowledge the true diversity of our heritage? Um, sure, he murdered people, he did horrible things. Part of our commemoration in tandem with, you know, side by side with Indigenous Peoples Day can be commemorating, commemorating the complexity of our history. Kayla, um, would you wrap it up, please? Oh, sure. Thank you. Um, so I, I would propose that we declare a different day that is not recognized as a personal holiday as Indigenous Peoples Day. Thank you. Thank you. Victoria Siever, 121 North Lily, Moscow. <clears throat> I figured you'd let us say something, so I prepared a statement. <clears throat> Both the man and the European colonial conquest, conquest that Columbus Day symbolizes is a persistent, terrible stain on our history, which we know is not always exemplary. The ethics we strive for today, albeit imperfectly, challenges us to live up to our highest ideals much better. Here we have an opportunity to redress a wrong. Webster's definition of redress includes to set right, to remove the cause of grievance and complaint, relief from distress. If we could transport ourselves back to those early days and experience in the flesh and the soul that conquest exacted upon the continental American peoples, we would be overwhelmed with deep sorrow and compassion. Today, we ask, is there something we can do now? A simple but significant act would be to change this name to Indigenous Peoples Day, to shift the focus to where Native Americans can bring their culture and pride to this day. It is a step toward honoring them in their own right. It is a step in acknowledging the reality of the past and redirecting our actions more honorably. Can we please stand forward and resolve to make this Indigenous Peoples Day? Thank you, Victoria. Uh, <clears throat> Come on up. Yes, ma'am. Hi, my name is Heike Yenert, and I live at 1529 North Polk Extension, Moscow, Idaho. This is my first time ever at this uh, Moscow City Council meeting, and I'm nervous. So um, I'm here in support of keeping just the way it is, and um, Columbus Day recognizes the achievements of a great Renaissance explorer who founded the first permanent European settlement in New York. The arrival of Columbus in 1492 marks the beginning of recorded history in America. 
Columbus Day celebrates the beginning of cultural exchange between America and Europe. After Columbus came millions of European immigrants who brought their art, music, science, medicine, philosophy, and religious principles to America. These contributions have helped shape the United States, including Greek democracy, Roman law, Judeo-Christian ethics, and the, and the tenet that all men are created equal. Columbus Day is one of America's oldest holidays. The tradition of observing Columbus Day dates back to the 18th century. It was first celebrated on October 12, 1792, when the New York Society of Itamini honored Columbus on the 300th anniversary of his first voyage. Columbus Day is a patriotic holiday. In fact, the Pledge of the Legion was written in 1892 in honor of the 400th anniversary of his first voyage. That year, President Benjamin Harrison declared Columbus Day a legal holiday. The United States has long admired Columbus. America has more mo monuments to Columbus than any nation in the world. According to the Christopher Columbus Encyclopedia, Encyclop 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 these include a Columbus status uh, statue in Providence, R.I., cast by Fred Frederick August Bertholdi, who created the Statue of Liberty, and one in New York City created by one of the six Italian-American brothers who carved the Lincoln Memorial. The United States has a significant collection of Columbus uh, memorabilia, including his desk papers and the cross he used to claim the New York world for Spain. These are in the Columbus chapter of somewhere in Pennsylvania. Mm. Uh, in 1971, Columbus Day became a federal holiday in all 50 states after Congress passed the law declaring the second Monday in October Columbus Day. Columbus Day also com uh, com commemorates the arrival of these shores of more than five million Italians a century ago. Today, their children and grandchildren constitute the nation's fifth largest ethnic group, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. I do want to say something real quick, and this might be offensive to some people. When I heard last on Friday <clears throat> that we are going to change a holiday, my first thought, I was born and raised in Germany. I thought about the book burning in 1993 in Germany, where, um, you know, very, very bad people in Germany, the Nazis, where they tried to erase uh, Jewish um, intellectual property uh, from their German institutions. They erased, they tried to erase history. And I don't want this happen to this country. I don't want our history to be erased. Okay. In I want idea. us to add maybe another holiday. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I